This is the DJI Mini 5 Pro. Now, I'm going to give a little bit of credit to Tim on my Discord for this video idea. How far can we fly this in comparison to an FPV drone? This is the Avion RC Nexa 3.5. And we've flown this for over 10 kilometers on a relatively small lipo. So the question is, can we fly this further, considering it's supposed to be more economical, considering it uses a lithium ion as opposed to a lipo battery, and they are about the same size. They've both got bi-bladed props. So the question is, which one's gonna go further? Now, I'm gonna link a video in the top right of this video now for the long range flight of the Nexa. I'm not gonna put them together in this because it'll just make it too long. So if you wanna see the long range flight of the Nexa, check in the top right now. Now, a couple of prerequisites for this. The Nexa was on average flying at around about 30 to 40 miles per hour for the test. And if we'd have left this in standard mode, it wouldn't have done the same. So we evened the test up and we put this into sport mode and we started doing laps around the exact same area. The question is, is it going to fly further than the Nexa or is FPV still the king when it comes to distance? Let's roll the video. Okay, so Boy Wonder FPV is now going to fly the Mini 5 Pro. Go in circles. So go up here, up here. Oh. Okay. Now he's in sport mode. The idea is he's going to do laps around here like we do with an FPV drone. Full speed, full speed. It needs to be at full speed. So he's doing 35, 36 miles an hour. 37. 37. 38. 38. And then I need you to turn left now. That's it. Go across to the bando and then turn left at the bando and then come Cross, back and then do went the same down laps. To 34 miles and an what hour. we're doing here now is we are testing the endurance of a Mini 5 versus that of an FPV drone. Yep. Make sure you keep that stick at the foot, yep. Um, now, it looks like he's go. not going as far because the camera obviously is more zoomed in on this than it is on an FPV drone. So it is going to look a little bit different, I've got to be honest. However, more. He's I doing the same laps, give or take. Doing like an oval shape. That's it. So then go all the way to just before that bridge. Go left a little bit more. And we, like I said, we're doing this in sport mode for the reason of FPV drones will be flying. Keep, I'll keep one in a straight line for now. Okay. So as soon as, get, oh, so soon as left, that bridge goes off camera. Oh. Turn, no, no, no. Turn left now. That's my stomach rumbling, I'm hungry. <laughs> so keep that stick all the way forward. Keep turning, just keep turning, just keep turning. <laughs> so an FPV drone will fly a minimum, really, of 30 miles an hour for the ones that we test. Uh, and we are looking at putting those up against the redacted FPV drone to see what the difference is, because they're about the same size. However, this is a question that I know a lot of people have got in the mind. What's the endurance of a DJI Mini like versus the endurance of an FPV drone? It's quite fun just flying so <laughs> I don't know why. But so we've I used 22% battery already, and according to wow, the already. estimation, we've got about mm. eight minutes of battery power left at this speed. It changes to 10 as we turn around because we use less power. Does that stick all the way forward? Yep, that's yeah. as far as it goes. In here at 30 miles, wait. 39, just barely. Barely 39 miles an hour, that's fast. So we'll have to do an updated speed test. Wait, 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 now. Now I do think there is a bug in the DJI app with mm -hmm. regards to this drone because you may see on you can the see all the paths <laughs> all crossing each other the paths. <laughs> you may see on the screen. Mm -hmm. Stay a little bit further to the right just to extend your distance. And then if you go over the road and then turn once you've gone over the road, it'll just extend that distance a little bit. I'm just trying to follow the exact same path that I was doing. But if you remember what I literally just said. Yeah. <laughs> I said go stop helicopter, give me the controller. Okay, so anybody who knows the drone code, if there's a helicopter or an airplane nearby, well, you need to bring... Well, it's quite far away, actually. 
Are we okay to continue? Uh, yes, it's very far. It's about like, okay. look, maybe a thousand foot away. Well, let me... One thousand, two thousand foot away. We should just, be safe. I'm just going to bring it down to this level. Just to be safe. We'll just, just keep case. an eye on that helicopter. Yep. I'm drunk, of course. And we'll just... Uh, I'm now completing this lap. Okay. And then I'm going to start yeah. going again. Just while that helicopter clears. We've got it in visual line of sight. It is nowhere near the drone. I'm just trying to keep my eyes on the yeah. drone and the helicopter. But obviously at that point, guys, if you are letting your kids fly, it's best to take control because ultimately as a, as a parent, it's going to be you who... Uh, who has oh, don't that worry, I'm a pro. I'm a pro yes, we know you're a pro, pro boy yeah. wonder. However, to be on the safe side, it's always best for the adults to the take over. The helicopter has cleared away. Are we cleared? Yep. Do you want me to take back control? I'm just going to increase altitude now. Yeah, it's just turning away. Just now. kick us back into where we were. Now the helicopter has cleared. Yep, we should be good. Come on, we all good. <coughs> So we're at 391 foot. We're in sport mode and coming this way, we're doing 32 miles an hour. So again, the, the question will always be asked, what's it like versus an FPV drone? And we can see straight away that we are gonna have a, a longer flight duration. We've already flown for five minutes and 15 seconds and we've got 58% battery left. Well, we might, might even fly for like maybe 10 minutes, yeah. 15. Um. That 58, 57% battery is giving us an estimate of another six and a half minutes, which, excuse well, these turns, well, they're not very uh, cinematic, but that's not what we're doing today. This is not the test. So um, if, we, if we add those two values together we're going to be looking so fast, it's literally sounds like it's screaming, once we go in a straight line again and it picks up that speed we drop into seven minutes so we should start taking control not just yet by wonder i'm just talking through a few things okay. so we're going to be looking at a total flight time in it's sport down. mode non-stop of around about 12 minutes 12 to 15 minutes which considering we are going at the maximum speed and we're literally just 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 turning that's going to show us two different things it's going to show us how far we've actually flown as a total distance and it's also going to show us how long time wise we can actually fly for as well and that's really important because you guys need to know if you're going to do something like this maybe because you're in high winds or maybe because you've got something that you need to get done in a certain way how long it will actually last for because that headline figure of 35 minutes sounds brilliant it's not always going to be the case in all circumstances if you are pushing it like this it is going to come down now we've been flying for six minutes and 55 seconds and we've got five six minutes battery left i can't tell you what our total flight distance is just yet yep. but i can tell you yeah, I can tell you that we have been flying for a total of 7 minutes and 12 seconds and we've got 5 minutes left on the timer. So I have taken over from Boy Wonder yep. just so I can commentate. Like it does sound like an F1 car. Mm. Just so I can commentate on the second half of this flight. Mm. Boy Wonder is now back on spotter duties. Uh, if you do need to hire a spotter, Boy Wonder is the best. You can hire yep. him for... Uh, what's, sure. your, what's your hourly rate? How much you charge? Free? No, no, everyone's going... How much to charge for, so... So for the best spot in the world, but I wonder charges on average of about one Ferrari California an hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, one, and for 10 hours, um, two Bugattis, Bugatti Chirons. I think, let's be realistic, I think for yeah. 10 hours spotting duties, you'll take a Bugatti Veyron, won't you? Yeah. Yeah. And if you're gonna, if we're gonna do it for a couple of days, Throw in a Lamborghini Aventador as well. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe two hundred dollars. Two of them. Yeah. Well, I think I think a Bugatti Veyron and, a, and an Aventador is probably yeah. a fair return for two days yeah. spotting. At least it's more than one. But he is available for spotting duties, and his rates are very competitive. Uh, but he is the best spotter in I the world. I would just charge ten dollars every hour. Ten dollars an hour. <clears throat> 
fifty dollars an hour, did you say? Bob? No, Wonder. ten dollars. <coughs> fifty dollars an hour. Ten, I think ten, that's ten. I think that's a very reasonable price for Boy Wonder. I'm trying to make it fair for everyone. Ten dollars an hour. But you need to make it fair ten. for you as well, mate. It is fair for me. Ten dollars an hour. There we go. Done. So fifty dollars an hour will get your Boy Wonder FPV as, as your professional uh, <coughs> spotter. Let's just start making a website. And make a website. Ready. You'll need more than ten dollars an hour if you're going to make a website, lad. Okay. Okay. So we've been flipped one second, boy. Wonder. So we've been flying for nine minutes and five seconds. We've got an estimated time left of around about four minutes. I think what we can probably just about get away with is one more lap, but that is going to cut it pretty close. However, we like to cut it pretty close on this channel. So let's do another lap. We've got a slight headwind as well. So when we're coming back, we are at a maximum of thirty-one miles an hour. Also, when am I going to take control again? Well, I'm just going to finish the second half so I can commentate on it for the boys and girls. You've done the first half and you'll get credit in the video. It's all good. Yay. It's all good. Yeah, maybe just put my... I'll put my your logo on again, yep. yep. My so. name and logo in every single segment. Wow. Every single Please. segment? Uh, I'd rather pay you a Bugatti Veyron. Right, okay, we fine. have got... Okay, give me that. Give me Nine minutes and 50 seconds of flight time and we've got four minutes and 40 left going this way. Because we have got that tailwind, we are up to 34 miles per hour with the with the with the yeah. headwind we do drop to about 31 miles an hour i thought this battery would last like half an hour but well, it, it does way way less in cine mode <laughs> and in normal mode ah. but in sport mode you way, are draining that battery and draining that battery so we've got a return to home oh, warning God. So we are now going to be cutting this officially very fine. Oh my God, who the hell is screaming, bro? So we've been flying for 10 minutes and 30 seconds. We've got 20% battery left and it says two and a half minutes. I'm going to turn it around now because this is now going to cut it super, super fine. Boy Wonder? Yeah? It might not get back here. Oh no. Two minutes and 40 seconds and look how far away we are. Oh. Well, you can see obviously with the drone in the air, but look yeah. on the screen how far away it is. We've got a problem. 17% battery, two minutes and 30 seconds left. Low power, return to home. Yeah. We return are in trouble. Promptly. We're in real trouble. Oh, Will no. it make it? Is it gonna crash in the sky? Hopefully not. Don't say the word, because the drone ah, god will bless the sea you. Word. Yes, that's right. So 11, 11 minutes and 10 <laughs> seconds, and we've got 15% nice. battery left. And we're gonna Low bring battery, it down. it's gonna force return to home in a second. And there we go, it's starting beeping now. Low battery, return to home pro promptly. I bet we could have done another lap. When it gets down to 5%, it'll force you to return yeah. home. And if you don't, it'll just die in the air and go into the ground. <laughs> Eventually, when it gets super low about you, it'll go like, do, 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 do. Oh, it'll it? just go crazy. Right, boy, wonder. It might go, oh, God. There's a car coming as well. It'll auto land. Oh, no, we've got 13% battery life. We need this car it'll to go away. It'll automatically land at 10, I think. Like, it'll force just land. It won't return to home, it'll just land. It'll, it'll just land on its own if it's on 10%. <clears throat> So for all intensive purposes then, that video was pretty, or that test was pretty much a draw. Sure, you can put this into cine mode or normal mode and it'll fly for longer. But the question is, would it fly further than what it did if it was flying slower? We've got a new top speed of 39 miles an hour out of it. But like I say, if you was going for distance and cinematics, I'd probably pick an FPV drone over this. This is great for stopping, framing, and doing shots that are sort of static to moving up and all that sort of stuff. But if your video is all about a cinematic flow, especially with the difference in the lenses on these, one's got a super wide angle lens, one's got a 24 mil lens, then I'd be picking this one. However, that doesn't mean that this one isn't great and doesn't have its place. But what this video I think has taught us is that you've got to pick the right tool for the right job. Peace out, everybody.